When war came along, on my 18th birthday, I volunteered. I was a member of the Women's Royal Australian Air Force. I served in the Royal Australian Navy for 31 years. I'm pleased that at last they're having the centenary of ANZAC because this will remind the younger generations of the sacrifices made. As the early morning light permeates the Turkish horizon, Long tones of brass search the air, scouring winds ever so similar to the breeze that chilled the innocent faces of the Anzac legends a hundred years before. It's such an emotional part of Australia's history that people really connect with, and so I hope that I can take away an understanding as a young person um, to give back to other young people. This was a, a very important opportunity for us to tell young people the story of Anzac. We put this program together thanks to Clubs of New South Wales to teach young people the importance of sacrifice, of courage and really why uh, Australians feel Gallipoli was the baptism of their nation. I guess you can't really understand what the soldiers really went through until you see it yourself. The peace that we enjoy today is very much dependent on what they volunteered and gave up. I really feel for those volunteers, some of whom would have been the same age as I am right now, and they had to go through the most terrible things. Twenty-eight pilots left Australia to go to England. I came back. Uh, one time, Right at the end of the war, I ran out of noise. I had a, a wingman. I told him I was going to have to bail out. I left the aircraft at under a thousand feet. When the uh, parachute opened, the deceleration was so great that it pulled my shoes and socks off. And I hit the water so hard, it split the soles of my feet. I became the first WAF to be in charge of an officer's mess, and that would have been in 1957. It was very hard in those days for a man to take orders from a woman. In 1996 we had the first woman pilot. We have been a trailblazer and the girls of today who march with us in Sydney, they will tell you that you girls have led the way for us. Anzac Day of course is a remembrance and to pay our respects and honour to the fallen. Not only to the fallen, but to those who are mentally suffering, physically suffering. The mothers who kiss their sons goodbye and wondered, will I ever see him again? The young wives, the partners, the lovers. We lost uh, 62,000. I don't want people to forget the great sacrifice Australia made. When we went to Gallipoli, there was this overwhelming sense of sadness about all the lives that were lost during the war. But beneath all of that, there was this sense of pride that these soldiers died for our nation and that they were in a better place now. As we that are left grow old, age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. <laughs>